Hey everybody, it's Lori from Lori Designs and we are going to go over just a few things for this month's stand up home sign that I have listed up on my website and I just wanted to kind of show you a few things and also we will do a couple of little demonstrations for you. So on the website, you'll see several different options for the maker's box for March, 2021. And one of the options are to purchase all the rest of the centerpieces for this sign. So I made this up. This is the actually the O in the word home. So each, um, design can either be glued on here or I can provide some Velcro and you guys can just sort of try to, um, you can put, put Velcro on these and uh, just pull the one off and put the next one on as you see fit. This is just a photo of all the different options that are available. As you can see, this is the one that comes with your kit. And then we have a bunch of other really cute ones. There's the um, pot of gold for St. Patty's Day, the carrot for Easter. And there's a bunch of other ones on here that I think that were really super cute. They're easy to paint, but they'll look so sweet in your sign. Okay, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you um, this one here. And I'm also going to demonstrate that one. So we will be doing the flower again um, because I did cut it a little differently than what I've shown in the photos on my website. And I have the carrot because, you know, I love bunnies and Easter's coming. So we'll get started. Now, when you order the kit, guys, everything comes in there that you need to complete the stand as well as each one of the panels to create the sign. This stand right here is gonna come in two different parts. It's gonna come in this little strip right here and this bigger one here. Now, I love the color of this stain. And it's not really stain, it's just acrylic paint that I have put on with the baby wipe method and it looks just like stain. I haven't put a finish on this yet, guys, but I just thought that that color was really, really nice. Now, you're going to receive one, two, three, four panels with your sign kit. And I apologize if you can hear the dogs in the background. They bark at just about anything and everything that goes by. Um, you're gonna have the letters will be in your kit as well. And this cute little flower that you'll be gluing to the top of your panel here. Okay, once you've got these painted, you literally, there's also this piece back here. This comes with your kit as well. This attaches all three H, M, and E together so that they'll set down in your sign. And then your centerpiece, which is your O, will fit right in there just like that. And then each time you wanna change the design, you just pull this one out and you put the new one back in, okay? And there you go. I believe this measures around 14 inches wide too, if you wanted to know just how big this actually is. And I'm gonna say it's probably about seven, seven and a half inches tall. So it's a nice size. It would look really cute setting on like the kitchen windowsill, um, in the dining room, even in the, in the living room. So I'm gonna move all of this stuff out of the way. I don't wanna get paint on it. I am a messy painter. Okay, so I have my wipes. I have my makeup sponges. And I wanted to go through real quick and show you, I did cut out all of the other 
inserts. So I wanted to show you some of these guys. So when I was talking to you about cutting out the flower a little differently. Now, this is MDF, guys. This is sort of like a really dense fiber board. And I love cutting this stuff because I don't have to worry about which great way the grain is going on the wood. It takes paint really well um, and it cuts like butter. So I really enjoy this stuff. Um, but you will be getting wood. You will be actually getting wood in yours. So that's why my stuff looks a little different because it's MDF board. So what I did was is I cut the flower but I kept that center and that all, that other piece in the center. And I think I'm going to keep those because I'm gonna paint those and add those to this backer. And this is what the backer looks like. It's just a, it's just a plain piece of MDF that I'm going to paint. Here's the butterflies that are one of them. Butterflies are super cute really cute for summer and spring. Mr. Snowman, there's his little nose. I've got it taped to this so I don't lose it. And his little, little ball right there. So Mr. Snowman, for Halloween, you've got the ghosty. So you notice these are all taped. That's just to help me keep all these pieces together. I'm sure we can all figure out which one this is for Valentine's Day. I thought this was really cute too. This could even be used as a, as a, you know, like a little indication of a birthday. So I thought that was really cute. I love the cherry on top. Here is the pot of gold. That's just taped on there because that goes there. That's going to be glued onto the pot once I get everything painted. Little pumpkin for Thanksgiving or just for autumn. The cute little rooster. I mean, that is adorable. I can't wait to paint him. I love chickens. So this rooster was really, really cute. Christmas wreath with a little bow here. The flag for the 4th of July or whenever you want to display it. I really like that one too. And you see I've got the tape on the back because each one of these sections are actually um, cut out. I think what I'm gonna do for you guys though, for anyone who decides to order this set, I think we're going to make it so that everything's just scored and that these aren't individual pieces popping out. But let me know what you think. Maybe you'd like to have those pieces separate. And then here's the little carrot we're gonna to do today as well. Very, very cute. This center pops out, this pops out. And you don't have to worry, guys, the whole thing, like the top here, the whole thing's going to get painted green. So you don't have to worry about these the, the border unless you want to. Maybe you want to get creative and, you know, paint that border black or maybe paint it white, um, you know, and then do the inside, the actual color of, of orange and green. It's all up to you, okay? I paint this stuff and it's just basically to guide you and give you ideas, but certainly use your own creativity when you get the kits. And I would love to see photos. So don't be afraid to post photos. All right, so what I did, instead of bringing all my bottles upstairs, I have all my colors. These are just little medicine cups that you can get for nothing. So I'm gonna get these all out here. I think we're going to do the flower first, guys. And then I'm going to show you a little trick when we paint the backer, this one right here, on how you can sort of uh, distress that a little bit to make it look um, sort of, um, you know, distressed and antique-ish. I'm going to keep this because I want to use that to tap my makeup sponge on. 
Okay, so we are going to do this first. I'm going to put the paint, the background color on here and let that dry and then we'll get started with this while, while this one's drying. Now, there are a lot of different wipes that you can choose if you decide you wanna go buy some more and sort of use this technique with your own paints and stuff. Um, I happen to have already had Kleenex Wet Wipes Germ Removal. So these were wipes that I had purchased um, a while ago and they're like antibacterial wipes and they actually work really well. They hold up pretty well. So I'm since I've already got these, this is what I'm using. So we are going into the off-white. I wanna make sure that it's not like really saturated. I'm gonna kind of pounce it around a little bit on my my pad, just kind of work it in there a little bit. And then I'm going to start working from the center and applying the paint and just kind of smearing that paint out towards the edge. Now, because this is MDF guys, I know that I'm gonna probably need to put a couple coats on that, okay? So I'm gonna set that aside, set that aside over there and now we're going to start on the flower. Now in the photo I used blue and I'm going to use the same color this time. You're just going to notice a little bit different shades of blue. So I've got navy that I'm going to use on the very outside of this. I'm just kind of dipping my sponge down in there trying to not to get too much on there and then I'm going to kind of tap it around on my little tray here, you can see. And then I'm gonna go along the outside edge of this, and I'm going to apply that nice navy blue, just to make that flower a little darker than the one that I showed you in the photo. Okay, and then I'm going to add, and I'm just going right back in there with that same, that same sponge. I'm gonna take a little of that excess off and I'm gonna tap that around. And then I'm gonna go right into the center and start working my way out. Don't worry if you get a little on the stem because you're going to go back in there and you're going to put the green right over top of that anyway. So we got that. I got a paper towel. I'm going to kind of tap that around. And then while that's still kind of wet, I'm going to go back in with the darker blue. And I'm just going to reapply. And I'm doing this very lightly, guys. I'm not doing it really hard. And I'm just kind of tap, tap, tap. And getting all that color right in there. And you've got that nice sort of shaded effect between the two colors. So I really like that. Whoops. Didn't mean to throw it at you. So there's that. Now I told you that we saved the cutout pieces. So this is like your little center. So I think that one, I am going to use my little, that I've got some off white on and I'm just gonna dab that on there. Let me see if we can. Here we go. Now I went with the off-white to put on the center. I don't think it goes that way. Oh, I know why, because I painted the wrong side. No problem. Grab a little 
more. Just make sure that we've got that worked into the towel a little bit or the little wipe. So there's that. And then because I've got a little bit of this here for the carrot, I think it's just yellow enough that I am going to use you know what, I'm gonna use this white and I'm gonna dip that in there. And what that did was, is it kind of gave me a little bit brighter color. So I'm gonna take that, tap it around, set it on the inside. And I don't know, guys, maybe I painted the wrong. Nope, I got it. I got it. Okay, so I'll show you that in just a moment. We're going to put another coat of paint on this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep that wipe. And I'm just going to fold that in so that the orange is on the inside. I'm going to put another coat of paint on this. Now... When you're using the wipes, I know a lot of people complain about the little fuzzies it uses. And I didn't remember to bring it, but I always put a piece of brown paper in your kit for you because once this dries, literally just wipe the piece of brown paper over this and it smooths it out really nice and everything's, everything's nice and smooth so you don't have to worry. All right, so while that second coat's drying, we're gonna do the green now for the, so I'm gonna work with this. Now I've put it up near the tip because I'm really in there close to that flower. So I'm gonna give it a little squeeze and then I'm just going to gently sort of work that color in there. And guys, you know, these do not have to be absolutely perfect, okay? So I don't want you stressing too much about, you know, did I do it right? Did I get enough on there? It's however you want to see it. That's usually what I tell my, my customers. It's like, you know, you just have to, you have to sort of do it and, and decide how you want to see it, how you like it. What I do may not be something that you necessarily like. So that's what's nice about these kits is that you kind of, once you get them, you get to do whatever you want to with it. You know, maybe you don't like blue. Maybe you like red or orange. Okay, so we have that have that all done. I took a little bit of the lighter green and I just tapped it around on the leaves and at the end of the stem here just to give it a little bit of a shading effect. Now because I don't have the brown paper with me because I wasn't thinking about it, I'll show you this real quick up against the backer with all of its bits and there you go and personally i think it looks really pretty if you leave those pieces in there it just gives a little bit more color so there's that. All right, so now we're gonna do your carrot really quick and then I'm gonna show you how to antique the edges of this to give it a little bit more of a distressed look. But we're gonna work on this carrot real quick. I'm gonna take the paint, the tape off the back, that over here. All right, so this is your this is your outside piece. 
And I'm literally just going to put that back there. Or let's try this. Take another sponge and I'm going to go into this darker colored orange that I pulled out. And I'm gonna go along right up against that green where the green's supposed to start. And I'm gonna do this all in the dark orange. Right up there. It's a nice thing about these sponges too. They've got that nice flat edge there that you can get right up in there. Let's make sure we've got Okay, so we've got that. And now I'm going to do the green. So I've got that right here. And I'm going to do the darker shade of green because I'm going to do the inside part a lighter shade. So we're going to put that here. You get right up to that orange and give it a little push, a little smoosh. And there you go. So that's that part. And you guys can probably see just how fast these are working up. So I know buying the whole set probably feels a little daunting, but they work up so quickly that before you know it, you've got the whole thing painted. And like I said, I go right back in there. I use the same brush and I just kind of go back in there with the lighter color and it gives me this nice sort of variegated look, this shading look, and I just absolutely love that. So super happy. And we're gonna go back in and I'm going to use this lighter orange, dip down in there. I always pat it around a little bit, guys, because I don't want a big gob of paint on um, my project. Plus it dries a lot faster if you're not too uh, heavy handed with the paint. Okay. And that also works for you if you are looking to give it a second coat that the, the fact that you're using so little paint just makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. Okay, so there's that part. So let's grab this. This is your backer. I'm going to put that right on there. Put that right there. It's kind of fun too, because especially with these, with the way they're cut out, it's like you're assembling a puzzle. And there you go. Look how cute that is. So if you hold this here, just really cute. So I'll put this back over here got those two done. Okay. So again, when you order the kit, you're going to get the wipes. You're going to get the little makeup sponges. You're going to get the um, different shades of blue to complete the flower with the greens. You're also going to get the brown that I'm going to show you that I use for um, staining the base of the sign. So we're going to grab a clean one. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, 
I still have lots of paint left. Lots and lots of paint left. So when you get your kit and you might see that there's only a small amount of paint in there, don't panic. It's because a little bit goes a very, very long way, okay? It's one of the nice things about using the makeup sponges in the white method. You don't have to use a lot of paint, which also saves a lot on waste and leaves you enough to work on other projects if you want to. So what I normally do with these, with the stand is I have the brown, I dip it into there, into the, the brown paint. And um, I have these aren't glued together at the time. I stain them one at a time. And then I go through and I literally just wipe the paint all over my wood pieces. And I set that aside and let it dry. Now, I don't throw this away because once I get done, I'm going to use what's left on the wipe to stain around the outside of my panels to make them look like they're a little distressed. So because I don't have that luxury, I'm gonna take a little bit on my wipe and I'm gonna kind of smear it around on my wipe, kind of work it in there because I don't want a lot of color in one spot. So you can see it's wiped in, it's smeared in there pretty good. I'm going to wipe some of this excess fuzzy off that I made. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here and I'm just going to start wiping it very, very lightly, guys, okay? You don't want to put a lot, a lot of pressure on the towel. You just kind of want to let it glide around the edges and then just sort of very lightly brush it across the top. Now, you don't have to use brown if you don't want to. If you want to use a color, it's the same technique, basically. Okay. And there's plenty on there to do other ones, but we're only gonna do this one for today. Wipe the rest of the fuzzies off of there. And you can see it's got just sort of a nice distressed look, but it's not really dark. It's not real heavy. And then we'll show it to you again with your, with your, um, flower on it. I prefer this look. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. If you like the straight up plain, you know, just the, the white or the off white look, and you don't want to do the distress look on that, don't do it. The stuff will be in there though, just in case you do. So pretty, so pretty. All right, I wanna thank you guys very, very much for taking the time to watch the video. I'm hoping to do some more of these. Um, I'm just sort of getting into the swing of it. So most of these will be pre-recorded. I don't do a lot of live videos just because of the time frame. So. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions. I will also try to give you some links, um, a couple of tips. If you're looking for paint, I go to Home Depot and I buy their sample jars. You can choose any color you want from the color chips that they have on the rack and you just ask them to create a sample for you based on the colors that you picked. They're only 98 cents for the flat, which is what I normally use. Um, I like the look of flat when it's dried and if I want to put a finish on it, I can. So get the flat, like I said, Home Depot. 
ask for the sample size and they will work up any color that you can think of. Okay. Have a great day guys. And I will talk to you again soon.